Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of the Cookery Show on India and Trucks. Today I'm going to show you how to make Shahi vegetable parathas. I have all the ingredients here. I have about two large potatoes that have been diced into large cubes like this. A cup of peas, two carrots, medium size, that have been chopped. A little cabbage. I would be boiling all the vegetables together. Garam masala powder. I have some ginger, garlic and green chilli which I would be making into a paste. Some salt, coriander leaves. I also have the juice of one lemon here and some ghee for frying the parathas. And I have some wheat flour. So I'm, we're going to make the dough now. First, what we're going to do is boil all the vegetables together. Take a small pressure cooker, add a little water. So add a little salt to the vegetables and just pressure cook them. While the vegetables are cooking, let's make the dough here for the parathas. So add a little water and gradually mix in. I have kneaded the dough for the parathas, you keep this aside and the vegetables are also cooked and they are ready. So what I am going to do is, I am going to remove the vegetables and mash them into a nice uh, masala. We are going to add some garam masala into it. So let me do that. So the vegetables are done, you can see they are nicely cooked. Now I would uh, going to transfer them into another bowl. What we need to do is remove the skin from the potatoes and then mash it. You can also remove the skin earlier and then cook all the vegetables, you can do it that way also. So now you can see, remove the skin from all the potatoes and I'm just going to mash them nicely like this. This is the ginger, garlic and green chilli paste. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of that. I'm going to add some garam masala powder here, about a teaspoon of that. I also have the juice of one lemon here, which I'm going to add to this and just mix it all inside nicely. So once you've mixed in those ingredients, you add the coriander, I have some coriander here, I am just going to add them as a whole. Mix all that also inside. After mixing all the ingredients, check for seasoning if you need maybe a little more salt or a little more garam masala. Or if you want it a little spicy, you can add a little more of that chilli paste. Well as of now, I'm, I think what I have added is enough, quite good. So once you have mixed in all the ingredients and checked for seasoning, you keep this aside and then you can get started with rolling the dough. So I'm going to start rolling the dough here, making it into flat chapatis of even size. See there are two ways of making the stuffed chapati. One is by rolling it, putting the filling in the center and folding the dough over it and making it into parathas. But I'm going to make it another way. So now I've rolled out the dough, I've made these little small chapatis here cut them out neatly so that they are even and symmetrical. I am just going to put a little bit of this stuffing into this, spread it evenly. I am just going to close it with another small paratha, a mini version. And now I am going to roll it into a paratha. So this is like stuffed, gently roll it because you have the filling inside, make sure they, it does not come out. So I have sealed all the sides nicely. This way. The presentation also will be neat and nice. It won't be popping out from all sides and you get a nice symmetrical and delicious paratha. So now we are going to fry the parathas. Just take a nice non-stick tawa here, heat it, make sure it's hot, place the parathas. Once you've slightly fried on both sides, add a little ghee both sides. What is a paratha without ghee? That's how I have it, I like to have it with ghee really delicious. The Shahi vegetable parathas are ready. You can have them with some delicious pickle here, some achar. This is uh, some nice ginger pickle that I have here and uh, I have just garnished it with a little bit of coriander. Uh, it is quite filling and heavy um, paratha so you can have it with yogurt and uh, it is very good for the kids. Kids are fussy about eating vegetables. You can make delicious parathas like this and give it to them.